Hello, good evening, class. Hello, Hi, good evening. welcome. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Calvin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Hi, teacher. Francisco. How are you? Hi, Carmen. Hello, Johnny, Dora, Jonathan. Welcome. Oscar, hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. How was your day, guys? Good. Excellent. So my day was fantastic, too. Okay, so we're about to start and I'm going to start sharing my screen. You know, it's kind of hot again, right? Okay. So this is our session number five. So in today's class, we're going to have a recalling. We're going to have a feedback related to the contents that we have been studying. It's going to be basically about um, practice. Okay. So just let me send something to the club. Uh, okay, to the class group. Perfect. Okay. Okay, welcome guys. We're gonna start, this is our session number five, and we're going to study with um, a conversation. The instructions that we have over here are the followings. Uh, Danielle, can you read the instructions over here? Yes. Uh, good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, the instructions. Ah, instruction. Work as a class. Listen to a conversation between James, Engma, and Professor Austin. Okay, well, so we're going to observe the following dialogue, formal greetings. So at the beginning of the week, we started uh, learning about greetings, right? Empezamos en la primera, bueno, well, principio de la semana, empezamos con formal, informal greetings. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to observe a formal conversation in a formal context between Emma, the professor, and James. Okay, so look at this. We have a sound vocabulary over here. We're going to be checking this. Vamos a ver el vocabulario. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Okay. Good morning, James. I'm doing well. I am doing well. And you? I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. So um, in here, we can observe that uh, he that James is introducing, right? Uh, Emma, está presentando a alguien más, right? So this is my friend Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Tiene algunas preguntas, a few questions. Uh, will you mind telling us about the process, please? And we have a question. Okay, so the, you can copy this, uh, well, this vocabulary. Would you, would you mind, would you mind telling us about the process or about anything else, right? Would you mind telling us about the process? Te importaría, right? So this is a polite way to ask for something. Una forma más educada, una forma más educada, más formal para pedir algo. Te importaría, right? Would you mind telling us about... 
the process. Okay, would you mind? So let's practice that vocabulary. Uh, would, would, would. And this is mine. Okay, so I'm gonna try to uh, write um, say the way how do we pronounce that. So for good is this one, right? Good. And mind, mind. Will you mind? Um, she has a few questions. Okay, a few questions. A few. Por ahí le voy tratando de ubicar, chicos, de la pronunciación, cómo se escucha, no fonéticamente, fonéticamente con los símbolos fonéticos, pero eh, sería más que todo la imitación que nosotros hacemos. A few, a few questions. Tengo algunas preguntas. She has a few questions. Tiene algunas preguntas. Probably two or three, right? So, would you mind telling us about the process, please? So, if you notice, this is uh, really formal, right? Es bastante formal. Se incorpora ahí la palabra por. Entonces, uh, cuando hacemos una request, una petición, siempre o agregamos el please al principio, al final también. Please, would you mind telling us about the process? Or would you mind telling us about the process, please? Look at this. We have Professor Austin. Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. So that's very formal. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Estoy más que feliz de hablar contigo. Um, please stop by. Stop by means stop by. Okay. So by my office next week, okay? Visítame en mi oficina. Okay, stop by means visitar, visitar. Stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Okay, let's see, it's Ingrid. Okay, Ingrid, thank you. Don't mention it, hopefully, Ok, ni lo menciones, ok, no lo menciones, ni lo menciones, don't mention it. So that's the meaning. Hopefully I will be able to answer, I will be able, ser capaz de, ok, yo seré capaz de, ser capaz de, then we have the word able, able, ok, able. Able. I will be able to answer your questions. So let's see. Let's look at the vocabulary that we have um, here. Look at this. Would you mind? Would. Would. So I need you to listen to that and try to repeat the sound, right? Would. No L, just would. Would. Mind. Mind. A few. A few. And stop by. Stop by. Uh, don't mention it. Ni lo menciones, right? I will be able to. Able. Able. And I think probably this one. Hopefully. 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 Hopefully I will be able to answer your questions. So now let's read the full conversation. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great, thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Okay, let's see. I'll need uh, two people. So I need, um, let's see, uh, Calvin. Calvin, hi, Calvin. Carmen, please. <laughs> Calvin and Carmen. So you're um, the ones. <laughs> Carmen, you ready? Están listos? Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? 
Good morning. Again, I am doing well, thank you. I am glad, thank you. This is friends, Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. What you mean selling on about the hoy no se le ve. Acérquelo un poquito más. Process, please. Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am more than happy to speak with you. Please start by my office in two weeks. It's a, a pleasure to meet you, to meet you, Professor. Thank you. Some thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Of course, I will able to answer your question. Okay. Thank you guys. So we're gonna continue checking this. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well, and you? I'm great, thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking, thinking about applying, applying. This is applying, está pensando aplicar, right? To this college, college. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions, few questions. Would you mind, mind, mind? Would you mind telling us? And this is us, um, okay? This over here, us. Would you mind telling us, us about the process, please? Hello, Emma, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I'll, I will be able to answer your questions. Let's see. I'll need um, three volunteers. Christian, Daniel, and Dora. Christian, Daniel, and Dora. Go ahead, guys. Okay. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, James. I am doing well, and you? I am great, thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak, speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping me. Uh, don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Okay. Well, congratulations. It was very good. Muy bien, chicos. Excelente. So let's see. Um, let's check this one. Us. Us. Thank you so much for helping us, helping us. Don't Thank mention you. it, don't mention it. Aquí lo que hace, podemos hacer es unir y hacer una sola palabra. Don't mention it, don't mention it. Ya no tratar de dejar aislado este it. Don't mention it. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Hopefully I will be able to answer your questions. Let's see, let's check it again. Good morning, Professor Austin, how are you doing? Good morning, James, I am doing well, and you? I'm great, thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. Thinking, applying, college. She has a few questions. Would you mind, would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. Stop by, stop by. Please stop by my office next week. 
It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Let's see. I want to listen to um, Edgar, Fernando, and Gloria. Edgar, Fernando, and Gloria. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, good uh, okay. <laughs> good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Uh, good morning. Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? Uh, I'm great. Thanks. This is my friend Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It is a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you too much for helping us. Don't mention it. Uh, hope, 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 hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to answer your question. Okay, well done, guys. Thank you so much. And just to conclude, we're going to uh, read it once more, and then you go and practice in the breakout rooms. Um, okay, so I heard something over here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping us. Thank you so much for helping us, guys, with the dialogues and with your participation. Thank you so much. Again, good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I am doing well. And you? I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend, Emma. She's thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Okay, so now I'm going to assign you uh, to work in the breakout rooms, and I need you to practice the conversation and to switch roles as well. Entonces, vamos a ir a las salas y también vamos a ir eh, practicando, van cambiando los roles. Uh, okay, so just let me do something. Entonces, ahí vamos cambiando los roles, chicos. No se queden solo con uno. Tratamos de practicar eh, con los tres roles que tenemos ahí. Okay, so you're ready? So join the breakout rooms. You're going to be working with uh, two more people. A estar trabajando con tres compañeros, okay? Well, two. Jonathan, hello, Jonathan. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Está por acá. Ah, este. Eh, este, ok, ¿cómo nos dividimos? Si gusta hacer usted James y yo, ajá. Ok. O yo hacer, ah, ok. 
Yo voy a ser James Stewart, profesor y eh, Marlene. Ah. Okay. Good morning, profesor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? I am great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about putting this college. She has a few questions. Will you need telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please talk uh, by office next week. Next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't, Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Don't Hopefully, mention it. I will be able to answer your question. Okay. Okay. Ask for. Comienzas Oscar con James. Ah, con James. Ok. Good morning, Professor Austin. What are you doing? Estamos con los mismos papeles, entonces. Eh, usted sigue siendo Emma, luego cambiamos de errores, yo sería Emma. Y ah, luego, usted sea. Siendo... Ah, ok, ok. Comienza Antonio. Ok, empieza de nuevo entonces. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm the Will. And you? I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am more happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Have a fun. I would ever answer your question. Ok, ahora yo seré Emma. Ok. Eh, usted será ahora James, eh, Marlene. James, ok. Empiezo. Okay. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. Espérenme, me perdí. She is. She she has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am more than happy to speak with you. Please stop. Please type by my office next week. I'm doing well, and you? Uh, I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about a place to the college. She has a few questions. Will you mean tell us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by, stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer with your questions. Okay. I'm great. Thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling me use? about the process, please. Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your question. And you? I am great, thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. This is a pleasure to meet you. I am more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office the next week. 
It is a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping out. Don't mention this college. Ya lo va a quitar. She has few questions. What do you mean telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with, with you. Please stop by my office the next next week. Okay. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Oh, helping. I no sé si lo digo bien. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your question. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Ay, con so, todos los so, poderes, con el acento a yuca frita. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente, Carmen. Ahí vamos. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. No, pero eh, uh, sí los escuché. Hay algunas palabritas, pero eh, ya las vamos a verificar otra vez. Ahorita las okay. veo. Ok, pero eso es súper Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Thank you, thank Let's you. Go back. Regresemos a la sala principal. Creo que ya lo cerré. Ok. Hello, guys. More than happy to be with you. Okay, so look at this. Um, we're going to check some words again. So it's really important for you to check the words that I'm going to mention. Uh, for example, we have, um, let's see, applying, applying, college, college, questions, questions, and the word would, would, and mind, mind. And this is us. Let's see, I'm going to write the words over here. Applying, applying, college, questions, and the other one was answer, 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 answer a few questions. Would you mind? Would, it's pronounced as would, would. Would you mind? Okay. And the word mind, mind, mind. Will you mind telling us? Okay, us. This is something like this, us, right? Would you mind telling us, us, about the process? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure. Okay. Um, and this one, it's a pleasure. You can say pleasure, pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. Uh, next week, it's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Uh, don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Again, applying, college, questions, answer, would, mind, us, and pleasure. Okay. So now we continue. I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Just give me one second. Vamos a pasar la asistencia, chicos. And then we continue with more practice. So we're closing uh, our week number one. And um, well, we have a lot of practice. Entonces estamos cerrando la semana. Semana uno, I think, right? This is class number five. Okay, Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Calvin. Carmen Amada Lopez Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Present. Thank you, Christian. Daniel Enrique Sifontes, perdomo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Dora Trinidad Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Eduardo. Ok. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. 
What is Fatima? Fatima, hello, not here yet. Fernando Ramirez Monge. Present, Thank you, Fernando. Gloria Evelyn Mengibar de Castellón. Present. Thank you, Gloria. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Está por ahí, bien. Present. Teacher. Ahí está. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martinez Escobar. Present. Jonathan Jose Carlos López Alas. Ok. José Efraín Reyes. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar Álvarez. Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. And Juan Francisco Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Mario Cristobal Quintanilla. Mario Cristobal Quintanilla. Noé Aníbal González. Noé, Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar, thank you. And William Vladimir Hernandez. Present. Thank you, William. Okay, so we continue, guys, uh, with more activities. Just let me check. What do we have for you? Okay. Okay, since we're about to start a new unit, we're gonna check the following worship. Look at this. We have a short review on a very to be, but this is, um, well, this is really, well, this is practice. So look at this. We have the structure for very be. We have subject, uh, subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. And besides that, we have a, the conjugation for verb to be, um, are, and is, right? So it can be followed by a noun, an adjective, a verb plus ing, or a preposition. So these are uh, belong to the complement, right, of your sentence. Entonces, cualquiera de estos eh, finales eh, se refiere a los complementos que puede ir después del verbo to be. So a noun. So I am a student. So with occupations, we mentioned that, right? I'm a teacher, I'm a student. With adjectives, you are busy. You are busy, tú estás ocupado. Uh, and we also have another compliment that can be if, well, there to be can be followed by an ing verb, right? She is studying, ella está estudiando. And, uh, in addition, we have the verb to be can be followed by either uh, any of these or a preposition. Entonces, puede ir seguido de cualquiera de estos complementos o de una preposición para indicar una ubicación, okay, o un, dar una descripción de algo. So, look at this. Uh, it is in the class, which is the preposition in, right? In. So now let's read the sentences again. I am a student, you are busy, he is uh, studying, she is in the class. It is um, in the class, we are studying, and they are busy. And if uh, you don't want to express any of these things, so you can use any other verb. Entonces, si no estamos expresando una ocupación, o en este caso no estamos describiendo, um, y queremos eh, mencionar otra actividad que tiene que cambiar el verbo, ¿verdad? I work, you work, he works, 
she works, it works, and we work and they work. Eso es lo que vamos a estar viendo y al día de mañana con el presente simple. Pero básicamente estos son algunos de los usos del verbo to be. Puede ser ocupaciones, descripciones, um, presente continuo y para indicar también ubicaciones o dar alguna descripción. Um, yeah. well, prepositions, when we talk about origin, uh, place, location, estamos hablando de, en este caso hablamos de ubicaciones, preposiciones que nos indican tiempo, lugar. Okay, so now we're going to complete each of these sentences below. So we have to decide whether or not to use a be verb. Tenemos que decidir si vamos a utilizar el verbo to be o no. O utilizamos otra forma, otro verbo. Examples. Look at the verb. You have to use the verb in parentheses. My father works in a large office. My classmate is tall. At the library, the students. So which is the complement that we need? The students. What do you think, guys? Okay, let's see. We're gonna work. Uh -huh. It is. Okay, the students. Bird to be. Bird to be. Are. Are. At the at, library. At the library. Okay. Canada. 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 It's a big country. It's a big country. Perfect. Richard. No, el verbo Richard conocer. Knows. Knows. Okay, perfect. Richard knows the answer to the question. Oh, no. I am um, late. I am late. 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 Okay. Am Muy late. tarde, right? It's late. Oh, no, I'm late for the class. They, they, are, they are they are tired. They are, are tired. They are, they are tired today. Están? We are late. We are late. We are Look at the bird. Is it? Uh -huh, look at the bird. We live. We live. We live. live. Okay. We live in an apartment downtown. Okay. Watching TV. The kids. Plural. Plural. Watching. Watching TV. Okay. A fireman. My uncle. My uncle is a fireman. Okay, he's a fireman. Okay, well done. Her books. Her books on the table are on the, are are on the, on the table. table. Okay, perfect. Driving the taxi driver. The taxi driver. Driving the passenger. Driving. The taxi driver. Taxi driving a pass is a taxi. Ah, driving. driving. Uh -huh. The passenger. Okay, uh -huh. studying. I am. Uh -huh. I am. I am studying. I'm studying I'm English. English. Uh -huh. I'm studying English. Okay, lions. Lions are dangerous. Are dangerous. Okay. And let me see. Uh, take a take a screenshot if you want to get have that exercise. Le pueden tomar ahí una captura para que lo puedan tener ahí. Y cuando lo muevas sí se va a mover. Creo que tenemos dos más. Ready. Okay. Ready. And, ah, okay. It was just one. Okay. Rubber. Breakfast at six o'clock. <laughs> so, which is the correct form? Rubber. Eating. Ahí la última, chicos. Rubber. Eating is eating. 
It. Mm, okay, interesting. It's. 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 Breakfast. It's. 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 Breakfast at six o'clock. Uh, yeah, the thing is that it's not in, in present continuous and present participle. Because it's okay, it's not solo la base. Robert, it's breakfast at six o'clock. Okay, so now we continue. We have more activities related to uh, this. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're gonna practice a lot and look like at this. Uh, where are you from? So we're gonna discuss the following questions. Where are you from? Are you always on time for this class? What is your favorite TV show? Are you a famous person? Um, okay, <laughs> we don't know. Probably you're now influencers, YouTubers. <laughs> Okay, but al menos aparecen en los videos de las clases. <laughs> Are you tired now? Who is your favorite movie star? What is your favorite time of day? Are you happy when you do homework? Is summer your favorite season? And you have to finish this sentence. I think I am a... And you have to add an adjective here. Person, because I think I'm a happy person. I think a cheerful person. I think I'm a busy person because... Entonces aquí vamos a incorporar un adjetivo para describirnos a nosotros mismos. Okay, so let's practice the questions. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Are you always on time for this class? Always. Are you always on time for this class? What is your favorite TV show? What is your favorite TV show? What is your favorite TV show? Are you a famous person? Are you a famous person? Famous person? Famous person? Famous person. Famous person. Are you a famous person? Are you tired? Tired. Are you tired? No, right? Who is your favorite movie star? Who is your favorite movie star? What is your favorite time of day? Are you happy when you do homework? Are you happy when you do homework? Is summer your favorite season? Okay, are you happy when you do homework, guys? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, are yeah, because the homework is um, not that difficult, right? Is summer your favorite season? Is el verano tu estación favorita? If not, which? Okay, si no, ¿cuál? If your answer is not. Tengo una instalación, creo which. que estoy. Si no, es, ¿cuál? And you have to finish this sentence. Winter. I think I am a busy person because you have to explain. Okay, and remember to ask follow-up questions. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que aparte de esas preguntas, tenemos otras por acá, ¿verdad? Who, what, where, how, when, and why. Wow. Tenemos wow. Esas, esas double edge questions para que ustedes puedan incorporarle más preguntas. Por ejemplo, where are you from? ¿Ok? ¿De dónde eres? And, ¿Cuál podría ser otra pregunta relacionada a eso? What do you do? Okay, where are you from? Yeah. What do you do? Otra pregunta, la ocupación. Okay, ¿de dónde eres? ¿Qué haces? Mm, where do you live? ¿De dónde vives? Yeah. So, are you mm -hmm. always on time for this class? ¿Estás siempre a la hora para esta clase? Yes. Mm, okay. How often are you on time? ¿Con qué frecuencia estás a tiempo? Okay. Um, or if your answer is not... Si la respuesta aquí fuera no, ¿por qué? So, are you always on time for this class? No. Why? Ah, because of my uh, job. Because of uh, my job. Uh, what is your favorite TV show? Okay. Um, mention a TV show. Mention a TV. Grandiosas. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And... Uh, 
And you can ask any other question. Who is your favorite actress or who is your favorite, uh, I don't know, character if you have um, a different kind of TV show? Oh, Se pueden preguntar por uh, quién es su actriz, cantante, favorito de, 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 esa, de ese show. Are you a famous person? What do you do? ¿Eres una persona famosa? ¿Qué haces? What do you do? Are you tired now? Why? So you have to ask follow-up questions. So try to add at least one question. But remember, this is a speaking practice, okay? Recuerden que es práctica de speaking. Así que, um, well, if you want, you copy the questions. If not, you, you don't do it. Examples, what do you do? Where do you live? How often do you? Okay, con qué frecuencia? How often do you uh, watch? Watch TV. Watch uh -huh, the TV show. Ah, uh -huh, y le pueden sustituir por el, el programa. How often do you watch Grandiosa? How often do you watch uh, TV or cartoons? Uh -huh. So you can uh, do that. Any other questions? Where is, uh, okay. What is your... Are you happy when you do homework? What is your favorite time of your day? My favorite time of the day is the morning. Okay. Okay, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es tu parte del día favorita? Puede ser la mañana, the morning, the afternoon, the evening. Okay, where do you go? ¿A dónde vas? Where do you go in the morning? In the afternoon, where do you do, uh, or what do you do? I said, um, ¿a dónde vas? ¿Qué haces? What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? Are you happy? Uh, are you happy when you do homework? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the summer, is summer your favorite season? Oh, okay. It could be, where do you go? Where do you go? For example, where do you go? in the summer uh, they va en el verano where do you go in the winter or what activities do you do so uh, okay so so just try to mention some let's see we're gonna try testing some of you let's see calvin where are you from where are you from calvin uh, i'm from salvador from San Salvador. What do you do in San Salvador? Or what are your hobbies, for example? Podríamos preguntarle cuáles son sus hobbies. What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Uh, uh, I like I like to play soccer. I Mm -hmm. I like to play no, soccer. I like, I like... To... yes. Yeah. I, I like uh -huh. to play soccer. Uh -huh. I like to play soccer. I like to watch TV. Okay, what do you do? So it can be uh, both for ask for answer to an occupation. I'm a teacher. I'm a doctor. I'm a nurse and a fireman and a nurse. Okay. Where do you live? Okay. I live in. And you mentioned the place. How often do you watch TV? I watch TV, for example, once a week. Una vez a la semana. So I just want you to take uh, to get some ideas twice a week. Yo quiero que vayan tomando ideas ustedes de lo que pueden ir respondiendo. I watch TV once a week, twice a week, una vez a la semana, dos veces a la semana, y lo podrían cambiar por el día. Por ejemplo, a day. Okay, once a day. Or it can be daily. Word, uh, okay. Oh, okay, let me so spell that. Where do you go in the morning? I go to the gym, for example. I go to the gym, I go to the park. I go to work, um, but that's not really an um, interesting. <laughs> okay, and what do you do? Um, 
well, this this can um, well, this is related to the this question. What do you do uh, in the gym, right? I exercise. I exercise. I run. I don't know. So you, you can uh, talk about the activities that you do. Where do you go in the summer? I go to. I go to San Miguel. I go to La Union. So I go to another country, I go to the US, I go, you can mention any other place that you visit. I go to, and what activities do you do? Okay, do you do? Okay, let's see. Are you always on time for this class? Yes, no? Daniel, are you always on time for this class? Yes, I always. Okay, yes, I am. Or only yes, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Puede ser solamente un yes or yes, I am. Uh, yo puedo decir yes y después puedo agregar más información. Yes, I'm always uh, early or uh, on time. Okay, so now remember, this is um, optional, but this is recommended. Okay, se lo dejo ahí opcional porque van haciendo más follow-up questions. Pueden utilizar estas que están acá. Ahí, según lo que ustedes necesiten, pero, ok, so it's a suggestion, try to use them. Tratemos de irles incorporando en el speaking que van a hacer ahorita. So just speaking, ok. Um, any questions so far? Preguntas del momento, chicos. No question. No questions. Ok, so now I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms in... So just give me a couple of seconds, okay? Okay, so join the breakout rooms and share your ideas with your uh, classmates, okay? Me dicen ahí si hay alguien que no recibió invitación. William. William en Fátima. Ah, ok. Fátima está por acá. William. William, acabo de enviar nuevamente la invitación. Ya le debe aparecer. Hola, William. Hola, William, ¿qué le pasó? No sé, me saco de la sala. Ah, bye. Ahorita lo voy a enviar nuevamente. Sí, una, una pregunta cada uno, puede ser. Ok. Voy okay. a preguntarle primero a, a Fernando y así sucesivamente nos vamos alternando. Ok. okay. Y después te preguntamos a ti. Ajá, cabal, después me ametrallan ahí. <risa> <risa> Dale. Ok, va. Um, where are you from, Fernando? Um, I'm from uh, San Salvador. Ok. Are you always on time for this class? Yes. 
Dice, are you always on time? Yes, I I do. Okay, what is your favorite TV show? Um, I don't watch TV. And sometimes um, I, I, I watch, I see the uh, football. Okay. Are you a famous person? Eh, um, voy, a, voy a decir mis secretos. <ríe> eh, quizás... Um, I don't have favorite famous person. Okay. Are you tired now? It's also more or less. Who is your favorite movie star? Uh, movie star, um, Star Trek. Star Trek. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite time of day? Uh, in the middle time when I take my lunch. Okay. Are you happy when you do homework? Yes, I made this very happy. It's summer your favorite season? No, this is not. My favorite song my favorite season is when uh, when Hace frío, no sé cómo se dice. Um, no sé, tampoco. Winter, creo. Winter, winter. exactly. Yeah. Winter, yes. Or when it's cold. Cuando está frío, it's when it's cold. When it's cold. Ah, okay. When it's cold. Okay. When it's cold. Thanks. Okay. Um, finish the sentences. Okay. Bueno, I creo que esto lo... Tienes que responder, creo. Uh -huh. I think I am. Uh, bueno, creo que no sé qué decir ahí, pero si yo, gusta, Johnny, hola. Es como yo pienso que soy una persona linda, por ejemplo, se pone el adjetivo, because uh, luego pero y dice algo. I think I am a worker person. Because, because um, uh, uh, I love the my occupation. Mm. Okay. Uh, se lo puse. Ahí se lo puse. Hard working person. Person. Hard working. Uh, trabajadora. Hard working person. Soy una una persona trabajadora. Okay. Ah, uh, excellent. Okay. Uh, Si usted yo ni pregúntele ahora a Marlene. How often do you watch TV show? Eh, ¿En qué frecuencia ves o... programas de televisión? Y para decir que no, eh, I don't qué. I, I don't have to watch TV show. Watch TV. I don't watch. I don't know. I don't watch TV show. I don't. I know watch. Ah, no watch TV as week. TV show? Mm, no watch. Where do you in the morning? Sora. Hello. Where do you go in the morning? I go to the after uh, I watch TV once a week. And um, where do you go in the, in the morning? The work. Oh. Where do you go in, in the morning? I go to, I the... Go to the work. The work. Okay. What do you do? Um... I I work. 
<risa> la favorita día, del día ajá. es la cosa. Cuando favorita vamos a dormir. Es <risa> <risa> la hora de... Ay, fe, y el día que le pagan bien. a uno. <risa> Uh, my favorite time of the day is the morning because the morning is uh, the beginning, the principio, the beginning. Okay. Hola. Hola. Ah, quiero ver, me dejamos más. Hoy, ajá. Eh, sería las 7, va. Pues, sí, en las 7 estamos ahorita, sí. Y vea, my favorite. ¿Cómo sería? My favorite time. Day of day, ajá. Uh -huh. Of day is. Quiero ver, sería. Atardecer, el atardecer, ¿cómo sería? El final del día sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Al final del día. Uh, my favorite time is the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> the lunch. Um, El sunset, ahí está. El atardecer. Ah, bueno, Carmen decía que al final del día es el atardecer, entonces es sunset. sunset. Your favorite thing of day is sunset, Carmen. Creo que se lo, no sé si se lo han puesto ahí el, algo de, de esto, de las playas que han hecho ya en la libertad. Bueno, lo que han hecho ahí en la libertad. No sé. Ah, sí, sunset el Sunset City. Que le han puesto. Mm. Ajá. El atardecer. Ah, es cierto, Sunset City. Sunset. ¿Y cómo es amanecer, teacher? <risas> amanecer. Ya, ya se fue. <risas> Hello, teacher. Ya se fue como una estrella fuga. <risas> no, aquí Hola. estoy. Ah, no, amanecer, ¿cómo se dice? El sunrise. 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 Es que, es que tenía Ay, ya me acuerdo de una canción. Sunrise. Sunrise. Del amanecer, sunset, sunrise. y el sunset desde el atardecer. Sunrise, sunset. También se le dice dawn, dawn, ahí está, esa también. Sunrise or dawn. Es el dawn sería más como, bueno, sí, amanecer, pero puede ser alba, la madrugada, el dawn, puede ser madrugada. Sunrise. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron, chicos? Mm. Dos no hacen falta. Ah, ok. Es el verano. La nueva es. It's summer, song. your favorite season. Runs a week. Una vez al día, una vez a la semana. Uh, I watch TV on Saturday. Where do you go in the morning? Uh, I go to the school. Okay. What do you do in the morning? Uh, esto sería como qué es lo que hago. Lo que es, ajá, ajá, qué es lo que es. Uh, I, I work in. Okay. Uh, uh, where do you go in the summer? ¿A dónde vas en el verano? ¿A dónde vas en el verano? Voy a la playa, voy al cine. Voy a ver a. I go to the visit my mom, I go to the visit my girlfriend. No voy a. Al cine, al cine, como te dice, al cine. I go to the beach, ir a la playa. 
I go to the other other place where other lugares. The mountain, I, la montaña. Uh -huh. I go to the side of the mountain. What activity do you do? Activity that has pero, pero de qué? Ah. What activity do you do in the in the night? Actividad hace por la noche. Ajá. Ah, yo estoy. Okay, okay. Tú pregúntale a Oscar. O oh, si ves. Va, te voy a preguntar. Te habla clase, ¿por qué? Why? For the... For the... For, for the traffic. Because... Because, 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 ahí sería, because, ahí se lo pongo, y cuando hacemos una pregunta con why, eh, la respuesta usualmente viene con este, con because, um, because, why are you late, por qué llegas tarde, why are you late, ah, because of the traffic, because, uh -huh, of the traffic, ahí se lo pongo en el chat, because of the traffic, Why um why are you sad? Porque estás triste. Why are you sad? Uh, because um, because. Uh, uh -huh. no, because porque no tiene café dicen de ti el chavo. Because I have no coffee. Porque no tengo café. Because I have no. Okay. Por eso me duele la cabeza porque no lo había tomado. Ah, okay. Really? ¿Le da dolor de cabeza cuando no toma café? Sí. Cuando no toma café. Uy, qué extraño, Antonio. Wow. A mí me afecta. Yo me tomo una taza ahorita y no duermo. Y no duermo. Pues... No, pero es que lo... A cualquier hora. A cualquier hora. Ay, creo que ya se hizo parte de, de su, de su sí, rutina. Ya. I have no coffee. Ajá. Ok, presente o pasado. Okay, I have no coffee. No tengo café. <laughs> so we need to drink coffee. Yo me hice, no saben que me hice adicta al café durante estas tormentas. Pero me dijo Julia que ni fue tormenta. <laughs> pero llovió unos días. Entonces se puso bien frío. Se a tomar café. Y después no me lo voy a quitar. <laughs> pero acompañado con el respectivo cafecito. Sí, no, pero ya. Yo sí soy, yo sí ya, soy adicta. Yo después, ya, ya cuando vi que ya no vivía sin el café, ya me preocupé porque ya me empezó a doler la cabeza. <risa> pero, ¿Eh? Ajá. Eso pasa. Edgar, dígame. Eh, la pregunta es, where are you from? Y la otra... Where do you live? But do you live? Ah, oh, where mm -hmm. do you live? Uh -huh. What is the difference? Es lo mismo, ah. da la misma consulta. La primera, de from, la preposición from nos indica origen. Eh, puede ser un país o puede ser este, pero nos estamos refiriendo a origen de, por ejemplo, nacimiento o de lugar donde vive el país. Y live es... Puede ser el lugar. El, el municipio. El municipio, el departamento. Uh, digamos, Salvadoran, del Salvador, de la origen. Mm -hmm. El municipio de donde somos. Ajá, es que la cuestión es que from nos indica origen, puede ser un país, pero incluso se puede, lo podríamos utilizar para preguntar este El también, lugar de, de donde vive. El, el, su origen, el lugar de donde usted proviene. Y live se refiere al, al lugar, ¿verdad? A donde vive. I live in Salvador, in, I don't know, Soyapango, in, in, you mention any other place, Miramontes, in, voy a mencionar la colonia, voy a mencionar este, el departamento. El municipio. Ajá. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think you finished. Ya terminaron. Eh, de, de, qué, de, qué. de practicar. De cuántas veces veíamos el, el TV. Eh, 
Hello, guys. Welcome. Hello. 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 Okay, so we continue, guys. And... Okay, so did you practice? ¿Se practicaron? Yes, tell me. Yes. Okay, yes, so I yes. have so. Okay, so look at this. Um, I'm going to show you our book. Because right now we're going to continue, but uh, with something else. Just give me a couple of seconds. And, okay, one second. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Dígame. Acerca de, 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 del video de ayer. De, ah, sí, de... sí. ¿Lo lograron ver? ¿Dónde salió? Vamos a enviar. ¿Pueden, Oye, no. Pueden enviarme. No, sí, 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 le estoy esperando. Aquí en el chat, pero no me dejen enviarle la imagen. Ok. Ah, no, envíale al WhatsApp. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh, en WhatsApp. Ok. Okay, so we continue with a uh, short speaking practice. This is um conversation between Anna and Carlos. And we have a, hello, I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna, I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too, excuse me. Is she Mrs. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't, she's Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She's the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am the salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna ask for some volunteers. Calvin and Carmen. Calvin and Carmen, go ahead. Read the dialogue, read the dialogue. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is, she is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, uh, are you the supervisor? supervisor? No, I am not. I am a person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, thank you, guys. Mrs., okay, remember this is Mrs., Mrs. Diana Aguilar, Mrs. And this is, the, uh, the other one is Mr., okay? Mr. Mr. and Lopez. Mrs. Supervisor, 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 okay? Supervisor, supervisor. Hello, um, okay, so I noticed something else. Um, um, or I'm, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana, I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss, Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She's Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She's the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I'm a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Christian and Daniel, go ahead. So you modify the names. Pueden cambiar los nombres, okay? Hello. I am Daniel Sifontes. Hi. Daniel Fuentes. Uh, I am Mr. Christian Barahona. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is a Mr. She is Mrs. Uh, Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And you are the super supervisor? No, I am not. I am I am a solid person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, excellent. Sales. I'm a sales person. Sales person. Sales. Sales. Okay, let's see. We continue with Dora. Dora, are you ready? And Edgar. Edgar, you ready? <laughs> okay, Edgar. 
Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana, I am Mr. Edgar Reyes. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Mr. Diana Andrade? No, she's, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. Uh, she is a she is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the, the supervisor? No, I am not. I am sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Mrs. Don't forget that, Mrs. Recuerden, este es el acrónimo para señora, ¿verdad? Mrs. Y el de señor es este, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Y este, señorita, Miss. Miss, Mrs. and Mr. Okay, thank you, Doreen Edgar. Eh, Fatima, no, Fatima, no. Let's see who's next. Fernando and Francisco. Fernando, Francisco, go ahead. Uh, hello, I am Fernando. Hi, Fernando. I am Mr. Francisco Montoya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. She is Miss Diana Andrade. No, she is she is Mr. Diana. Aguilar, she's the manager of the company. Okay, and you are supervisor? No, I am not. I am the sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Francisco Montoya. Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. Johnny and Jonathan. Hello, I am Johnny Silva. Hi, Johnny. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me. Is she Mrs. Diana Hernandez? Andrade? No, she she's not. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is, she is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? Uh, no, I am not. I am a salesperson. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, well done. Congratulations. Of, just check this one. Of, this is of. Acá la pronunciación de este of, de, este, de, de esta palabra es of, con V. Okay, so be careful with that. Of. And the other one is off, okay? Entonces, ahí es lo opuesto, miren. Of, el, este que significa de, es of, y este que significa apagar, y uh, significa, se pronuncia como off, con F, okay? She's the manager of the company, of, of no, of, of the company, of the company. And don't forget okay. again, Mrs. Mrs. Diana Aguilar. Mrs. So don't forget that. Okay. And let's see Marlene and Oscar. Okay, teacher. Hello, I'm Marlene Menjibar. Activate your microphone, Oscar. Okay, okay. Okay, de nuevo entonces. <laughs> okay, hello, I'm Marlene Menjibar. Hi, Marlene, I am Oscar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is, she is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I am self person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, thank you. And we need uh, someone to help William. Okay, William and what's our voluntary? I can make it with William. Okay, 
Okay, Dora. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, I am Dora Cornell. Hi, Dora. I'm William Hernandez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, thank you guys. And now I'm gonna continue with something else. Just give me a couple of seconds. Okay. So we're gonna uh, check, we're gonna revise the topic that we were studying yesterday. It was about uh, that possessive case. Just give me a couple of seconds, okay. So it's over here. Okay, el día de ayer veíamos un poquito del de caso posesivo o genitivo y también veníamos, veíamos algo de los possessive adjectives. Entonces nada más para complementar el possessive case, vamos a ver un poquito detallado lo que explicamos el día de ayer. Ok, so just let me share. Nice and nice y ya se ve. Ok. Sí, doctor. Okay, so look at this. Uh, let's see. Edgar, please, uh, can you read the information um, at the top? Esta, esta que está acá. Okay, we use positive case to talk about object people that we have. That we have. Que posesivo, miren. <laughs> Para hablar de objetos y personas que tenemos, okay. Es para indicar relación, ¿verdad? Una relación. Uh, examples. Mm, continue, Edgar. Example. We have Mike and Sandra. Mike? Mike has a car. It's Mike. Mike's a car. Mike's car. Okay. Ex excellent. Uh, Mike has a car. It's Mike's car. So we mentioned that the apostrophe and the S express possession, right? So they mean the, as we say in Spanish, el carro de Mike. So, and it's really important to not confuse the, um, uh, let's say the verb to be, right, with the possessive case. Es muy importante no confundir ahí el, el uh, verbo to be o la contracción del verbo to be o en alguna forma del verbo to be um, con el caso posesivo. Mm, vean acá. It is Mike's car. Es el carro de Mike. I'll continue, Edgar. Okay. Sandra has a boyfriend. It is Sandra's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It is Sandra's boyfriend. And something um, else that we need to consider is uh, pronouncing the S in order to make uh, this possessive, right? También tenemos que a pronunciar, ¿verdad? Se dice Mike's car, Sandra's boyfriend. Continue, my parents. Okay. My, par my parents have a house. Is my parents' house? Is my parents' house? Okay, it's my parents' house. So we have checked some uh, different uh, nouns. Hemos visto diferentes sustantivos acá. Acá tenemos el caso singular, Mike, el, car, Mike, el carro de Mike, uh, novio de Sandra y la casa de mis padres. Entonces vemos ahí que el sustantivo va cambiando. Puede ser singular, puede ser plural. ¿Y qué pasa si eh, tenemos un sustantivo plural? que termine en S, solo hagamos, agregamos apóstrofe ahora. So we continue. Okay. With um, more details about it. Possessive case answer the question whose. El caso posesivo o um, genitivo contesta la pregunta 
¿De quién? ¿De quién? Whose back is this? So this means, ¿de quién? So don't forget this. Eso significa la double H question. Whose quiere decir, ¿de quién? Whose back is this? ¿De quién es esta bolsa, esta cartera? It is or it's Lisa's bag. Es la cartera de Lisa. Whose sons are they? They are Ben's sons. Ok, ¿qué nos faltó acá? El apóstrofe. La apóstrofe, right? Whose bag is this? Ok, whose sons are they? Ok, so I cannot modify that. Ok, and look at this. We have uh, the spelling rules. Aquí tenemos las reglas. Um, well, that's too much, but it's really clear. We add apostrophe S to a singular noun. Agregamos apostrofe S para un sustantivo singular. Nina's daughter. Bill's laptop. The cat's toy. Veamos. Nina, singular. Daughter, singular. Una, Bill. Just one, right? The cat. One, singular noun. We add apostrophe to a plural noun. The girls have a ball. It's the girls' ball. Entonces, para un sustantivo plural, agregamos apostrofe. En este caso, termina en este. Mm -hmm. You just add the apostrophe. My friends have two cats. Mis amigos tienen dos gatos. They are my friends' cats. Son los gatos de mis amigos. Entonces, este puede cambiar a lo que nos referimos cuando es un, eh, un sustantivo plural es al que va acompañado del apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Friends. Y acá podría ser varios o podría ser uno. Puede ser el gato de mis amigos o los gatos de mis amigos. If we say names of two and more people who have something, we add apostrophe S to the last name. And we mention this. Mencionamos que si un objeto o algo está relacionado, pertenece a alguien, eh, pertenece a más de una persona, lo vamos a agregar el apóstrofe en, en la última persona o el último nombre que nosotros hemos mencionado. María, Lucy, and Ken have a dog. María, Lucy, y Ken tienen un perro. It's María, Lucy, and Ken's dog. Uh -huh. Entonces, este recibe el, el apóstrofe y la S. Jimmy and Sara have a son. Eh, Dan is Jimmy and Sara's son. Jimmy and Sara have a son. Dan. Jimmy y Sara tienen un hijo. Es Dan. Dan is Jimmy and Sarah's son. ¿Quién es Dan? Dan es el hijo de... ¿De quién? Sarah. De Jimmy y Sarah. Sarah. Uh -huh. Es el mismo caso. Sarah. Ok. ¿Me continue? ¿Puedo continuar? No sé si le tomaron ahí una foto o lo copiaron. Yes. <laughs> foto creería yo. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. We use possessive case with people or animals only. Look at this. My dad's computer, Jack's mom, my dog's food. Entonces utilizamos el caso positivo con personas y ani o animales solamente. If we need to talk about an object that has something, we use the preposition of lo que mencionamos ayer al final. Si hablamos de un objeto que eh, está compuesto de otras partes o queremos relacionarlo, tenemos que utilizar la preposición of. The table has four legs. La mesa tiene cuatro patas. They are the legs of the table. Ellas son las patas de la mesa. The house has a window. It's a window of the house. Es una ventana de la casa. Oh, okay, oops. And we can use of with people and animals too. Look at this. También podemos utilizar um, of con personas y animales también, which is not really common. Pero es, bueno, es más común utilizar el, el, el possessive case con el apostrofe S. Sam and James' brother, okay. ¿El hermano de quién? De Sam y 
Okay, Sam is Jim's brother. Okay, Sam es el hermano de quién? De Jim. Sam is a brother of Jim. Okay. Sam es un hermano de Jim. Lo que único que se escucha más eh, como decirles eh, traducido literal, ¿verdad? Literal como lo diríamos nosotros ahí en español. Sin embargo, tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Que más natural. They are my friends. They are my friends. Ellos son mis amigos. They are my friends' children. Son los niños. Ok. De mis amigos. Mm -hmm. They are children of my friends. Mm -hmm. sentence. Ok. And look at this. So here you have some examples. So uh, I need you to help me reading these examples. Vamos a ir leyendo los ejemplos. One by one. Let's see. Daniel, start with the first one. Ben has a car. It's Ben's car. De Dina. Read Dina. Dina's example. Daniel. Dina has a song, Alex. Alex is Dina's song. Okay, continue, Edgar. Okay, my brother has a flat. Oh, how do you say? Flat? Flat, okay. My brother has a flat. It's my brother's flat. Mm -hmm. El apartamento. Okay, continue, Carmen. Carmen, continue with the next one. Jean. Jean has. Jean has. Has. Um, has. 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 Jean has an iPhone. It is Jean a uh, iPhone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Let's see. Marlene, my husband. Okay. My husband has glasses. They are my husband's glasses. Perfect. Kevin, continue. Kevin, Kevin, continue. The girls. The girls, the girls have this, uh -huh. these bikes. It's real. These are the girls' bikes. Okay, perfect. William? The birds have wings. Okay. They're the birds' wings. Perfect. And the next one, please help us with that one. Um, let's see. Johnny? My friends has a baby. It's, it's my friend's baby. Okay. Francisco? My sister has two dogs. They're my sister's dog. Okay. Oscar, continue. And a lily at the flowers. And a lily of flowers. Mm -hmm. And it's Anne and lily's uh, flower. Okay, and the next one, please help us, Christian. Sam, Susie. Sam, Susie, and Stella have a farm. It's Sam, Susie, and Stella farm. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Dora. Teacher, yo la última fila no la leo. No se ve. Uh, Alguien que no. la vea. Sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. Okay, I think I did something. Now? ¿Y ahora? My mom. ¿Esa? Ajá, uh -huh, my mom. My mom and dad have a pool. It's my mom and dad's pool. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to have a short practice on it. Uh, just let me look for that. Okay. Okay, so I hope you're ready to uh, play. Look at this. Le tomaron captura, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I Excellent. have. 
Okay, so look at this. So now I'm gonna show you some exercises and you have to complete these with the correct possessive case or possessive adjective. So a sentence is going to appear and you have to uh, create the possession, adding the apostrophe S or using an adjective. Entonces le van a aparecer algunas oraciones, ustedes tienen que hacer la posesión, ¿ok? Utilizando el caso posesivo o puede ser que sea possessive adjective. Entonces ustedes deciden cuál utilizar. Ok, let's see, we're gonna divide the class in two teams. Vamos a hacer los dos equipos. Vamos a ver. Déjenme sí. Ok, le voy a dar un número de equipo y después ya lo demás queda en sus manos. <ríe> ok, let's see. Um, give me one sec. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver, equipo uno, team number one, Calvin, Carmen, Cristian, Daniel, Dora, Edgar, eh, Fátima, Fernando, sí. Ok, and Fernando. Team two, ok, mencionamos otra vez, equipo uno, Calvin, Carmen, Cristian, Daniel, Dora, Edgar, Fátima en Fernando. Equipo 2. Team 2. Uh, Francisco. Francisco. Ingrid. Johnny. Jonathan. Kevin. Marlene. Oscar. En William. Ok. Nuevamente. Francisco. Ingrid. John, Johnny. Jonathan. Kevin. Marlene. Oscar. En William. Están listos. ¿Ya se identificaron con uno? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Ok, no voy a decir que se le olvidó. <risa> <risa> ah, son bromas. Se le olvidó, me dicen. Vamos a ver, team number one, please pick a number. Equipo uno, pick a number. Number five. Number five, ok. Is this... Is this... Dictionaries, Christ. Mm, ok. You sure, team? Equipo, equipo uno, ¿están seguros? It is Chris Dictionary. Yeah. Ok. Is this Chris Dictionary? Ok, yeah. perfect. Ok, team two. Um, team two, please pick a number. Number seven. Number seven, okay. Seven. Okay, nice. Sing the Itsy Bitsy Araña. <laughs> ¿A quién se recuerda la canción? Oh, en inglés. ¿Quién se la puede? Oh. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. <laughs> Algo así. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna send you the song. Le voy a ver la, la canción después para que se la pre... <laughs> Okay, team one, please. Select the number. Four. Four. Okay. The students' pencils are all broken. You have one minute. Un minuto. Or less than one minute. Team one. The pencils the pencil. students are all broken. Okay, can you, could you repeat it, please? The pencils students are, are, are all broken. Okay, so remember, it's the opposite. The students, pencils. Students, pencils. Uh -huh. So it was the opposite. Era lo opuesto. Empezamos con... Eh, ok, empezamos con el noun y después con el objeto poseído. Ok, so not going for this one, sorry. Team 2, go ahead. Team 2. Team 
Team two, pick a number. So I keep number two. Number two. Okay. Fly like a butterfly. Wow. <laughs> Let me see. Fly like a ¿Quién eligió la dos? <laughs> Yo. Okay. Fly like a butterfly. <laughs> Don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, so you didn't know. Let's see. Uh, team one, pick another one. Team one? One. Number one. Okay. Do a funny dance. Do a funny dance. Team one, let's see. Team one. Funny dance. Okay. Dance. Uh, that's dance, dance, dance. All right. Now about the rest. One is dance. Okay. Nice. Let's see. Well, you have some challenges. Okay. So you got to be ready for this. Uh, team two, pick a number. Team two, number. Any number, team? Number 10. 10. Okay. Do you know where my Creston phone is? Mr. Creston phone is. ¿Sabes a dónde está la cosa? Teacher is, do you know where Mr. Creston's phone is? Yes, it is. Excellent. Team one, go ahead, pick a number. Six. Team one. Six. Six, did you say? Yes. Okay. These are my friend's books. Team, team one. Vamos a ver equipo uno, ¿qué pasa con los demás? These are my friend's books. These are my friend. books. My friends. Uh, can you repeat it, please, Daniel? These are books, These are... my friends. Okay. No, no, friends. Books. These are my friends. My friends. These are my friends. Books. Okay. Entonces, iniciamos con el possessor acá y después um, the possessive uh, thing, right? Y acá yeah. lo poseído. Okay. Uh, team two? Three. Three, okay. It's been five times. Vamos a ver cinco vueltas. Five times with your heads at least, Edgar. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see. Um, Pick another one. Team, team two? Three. Three. Ah, okay, yeah, that's the same. Team one, go ahead. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. So we 25 points. Team two, pick a number. Uh, number. Eight. Number? Eight. Eight, okay. Can I see, puedo ver, Teacher is, can I see Sam's picture? Yes. Okay, can I see Sam's picture? Team one, go ahead. 15. 15, okay. We will not open YouTube on... No abriremos YouTube. YouTube on... Tablet. Teacher, stop Tablets. Okay. Teacher's tablets. Mm -hmm. So we will not open YouTube on teacher's tablets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Team two, go ahead. Uh, no, uh, number nine. Nine. Okay. Other team loses 25 points. Okay. Le vamos a quitar los que no ganaron allá. Okay. Hey, this, team... this <laughs> and yeah. que se ganaron una cajita. Vieron que se ganaron una cajita con 25. A veces los quitamos. Team one. Okay, 11. 11, okay. Win 50 points. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect that. Ni yo lo esperaba. Ok, 
skating too? Pick a number. Number 12. 12, okay. Mm, okay, 15 points. My friends look, look nice. Yes. Awesome. Okay, team one. That's up to you. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Fifteen points. Uh, girls backpack. Girls backpack. Girls backpack. Backpack. Okay. Perfect. And team two. It's his toys. She's toys. toys are on the bed. Are on the bed. His toys are on the bed. Toys are on the bed. Team one. Um, spell? Vamos a ver. Vamos a comprobar esto. Pueden deletrearme ahí el his que me están mencionando. H y eh, el cosito. Uh -huh. This one? Yeah. Are you It's sure? You. Seguros, seguras. His toys are on the bed. Ooh. Recuerden que le mencionamos al principio. Podría la ser. De his. La contracción de his. Podría ser possessive adjective también. Nos quedamos con ese. No, espérese, teacher. Vamos a ver. Sin one says, his toys. His toys. His toys are in the. Sin one. Sin one. Sin one. Could you spell this? Pueden deletrearlo, Sin one. E. H. H. E. 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 Ajá. Team. Team one. Space. Just spell this. E. E again. Okay, this is E and this is I. No. What happened? ¿Qué pasó con los dos equipos? Ok, so I'm going to show you. O sea, ¿nadie más tiene otra posibilidad? Lean la oración. Read the sentence. He toys are on the bed. No? Look at this. His toys. His toys. Sus juguetes están sobre la cama. Recuerden que cuando son posesivos adjectives, his para el también para expresar posesión. Ok. So now we continue. We have a winner. It's team uh, one, I think. <laughs> ok. Ok. Um, so right now I'm going to show you something else um, just to finish. I think you are worried about something. Okay, just to finish, uh, we're gonna conclude with uh, some exercises. This is on page number, uh, let me check. Okay, 17 and 18, okay? Entonces, ahorita vamos a estar trabajando en la página 17 y 18, okay? So, could you open your manuals? Podrían abrir sus manuales. By the way, who finished exercise? Uh, okay. This one. 18 and 17. Okay, look for the mistake in each sentence. Circle and uh, circle it and rewrite. Revive the correct sentence. We are marketing managers. So, which is the correct form? ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta, chicos?
We, we are. are. We, we are. are. Okay, we are marketing managers. Marketing managers. Okay. Number two. Number two, what do you have for number two? She isn't. She isn't. Uh, she isn't. She isn't? Yes. She is in Margarita Marroquín. Okay. About the next one, number three. Natalia and Sara are the new supervisor. Okay. Are the new supervisor. My boss is George Sandoval. Okay. My boss is... Is George Sandoval. Okay. My boss is... Um, okay. And the last one. Number five, para las cinco que tienen. Yes, Their secretary isn't Laura Miranda. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Their secretary. Oh, sorry. Okay. Secretary isn't Laura Miranda. So I hope you are uh, completing this. Well, it's Miranda. So let's continue with the next part. So we have exercise A4. Okay, exercise four. We have to create some questions. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Complete the questions using different subjects and ask them to a partner. Write his or her answer. R, could you give me a question? Give me an example. R. Are you a new supervisor? Okay. Well, that's great. Are you? <clears throat> okay, are you the new supervisor? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, number two is. Examples, uh, Edgar, Eduardo, William, Oscar, Calvin, Dora, Francisco, is, is what? Come on, think about question. Yes, no question. Is this the car? Is? Is it the car? Is it the car? Is it the car? Yes? Yes. Okay. Answer? Yes. Yes, it is, right? Number three. Help me with number three. Anybody? R. Johnny, Ingrid, Marlene, Kevin. Teacher, um, are you my teacher? Are you my teacher? Okay. Okay, so which could be the answer? Yes. Yes, I am. Or no, yeah. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Okay, number four. Um. Let's see, Francisco, give me a question. Um, using um. 
ไม่อืมทำไมเออทำไมอืมโอเคทำไม give me a description You can ask about an occupation. You can use an adjective. Am I happy? Am I happy? Am I? Ah. A sales person. Ah, okay. Okay, a sales person. I am the owner of the car. Okay. Am I? Driving. Ah, oh, for example, could be a rhetorical question. Am I the winner? Okay. Am I the winner? Yes. Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Okay. And number five. Number five. You made the S for number five. Is. Yes. Uh huh. Is. Is she. Your daughter, daughter. Okay, is she your daughter? Yes. No. Uh -huh. No, she isn't. Okay. Number six. Number six, guys. Are you ready? Are they your family? Are they your family? Okay. Answer. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. So, and we basically finish uh, finish unit number one in these uh, two examples. But you can. Quiero uh -huh. tomar una captura de pantalla. Uh -huh. Okay. Ahí está. Three, number three. Y a la otra, por favor. Okay. Okay, ya. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, um, well, in here, you only have to uh, complete this with some uh, details. Your teacher's name. Um, in here, you have to write that teacher's name. You write, I don't know, a Professor Austin. <laughs> okay. Austin. A classmate's occupation. You mention a classmate's occupation. For example, let's say uh, William is a doctor, let's say. I don't know, William, are you a doctor? Your classmate's name, uh, Carmen. A classmate's last name, uh, Carmen, could you give me your last name? Apellido, Carmen? Lo siento, pensé que estaba encendido López. <laughs> ah, okay, don't worry, López. And in here, you have to fill in the blanks with a classmate's information. First name, middle name, last name, occupation, boss name, and workplace. Entonces, eso se lo dejo que lo completen ustedes. Yeah, solamente es de rellenar eso. Okay, and um, we're going to open just to finish the platform. Solamente para terminar, vamos a abrir la plataforma y vamos a checar cómo van. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me check your progress. Vamos a checar el progreso ahí mientras no, 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 también pasamos la asistencia. Tenemos que llevar. Ok, bien, bien, bien. Vamos a ver por acá. Calvin Alexander Hernández. ¿Está por ahí todavía? Ok, Carmen Amada López. Present teacher. Cristian Vladimir Corvera. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique, Enrique Cifuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Trinidad Cornejo. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Edgar Edenilson Reyes. Present. Thank you, Edgar. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Eduardo. ¿Alguien vio Eduardo hoy? No. Okay. Fátima Alexandra. Sí, está. Fátima Alexandra Martínez. Okay, está bien. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Thank you, John. Okay. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva. Present. Okay. Jonathan David Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos López. Jose Efraín Ramírez. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Juan Francisco Montoya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Mm, sorry. Present. And uh, Mario uh, Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario. Noé Aníbal González. What is Noé? Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. And William Vladimir Hernández. Present. Okay, that's same. I don't listen my name. Francisco. No, Fernando. Fernando. Okay, let me check Fernando. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, didn't. Um, let's see. Uh, Fernando Ramirez. Okay, Fernando, thank you. Gracias, Fernando. Yeah. Okay, bien, chicos, veamos cómo vamos con esa plataforma. Hay alguien que eh, se haya quedado, no tenga problemas con... Con las actividades, pregunta. Vamos a ver, Cristian. No. Yo, yo, teacher, porque he eh, intentado un poco de trabajo con el trabajo, entonces dije que el domingo me va a ah. poner al día con todo. Ajá. Ok, Cristian, sí, perfecto. Entonces, vamos a ver, les comento un poquito de cómo va el progreso. <coughs> Ok, Fernando Ramírez Monge, ahí Fernando, tenemos que subir. Ok, eh, andan, ajá, andamos por el 60 y el 80, quiere decir que nos hacen falta variedad, como unas dos o tres actividades, ¿verdad? Y pongámonos al día, no son muy largas chicos, solo son cinco ítems los que van contestando diariamente. Pueden hacerlo desde el celular para que se les haga más fácil. Eh, nada más aquí vamos a ver. Ajá, porque me aparecen entre el 60 y algunos, algunos que solamente han hecho una actividad o dos. Entonces ahí verifiquemos. Ok, Antonio, me parece que va un 80%. Cristóbal, 60. Francisco, 80. Ingrid, 80. Eh, Gloria, 80. Estamos bastante bien. Entonces los demás, pongámonos al día. Hay varios que también ya tienen progreso. Solamente, bueno, Jonathan, Jonathan, no sé si ya ingresó. Sí, sí. Jonathan, porque aquí todavía no me aparece, pero este, estamos bastante bien. Pongámonos al día, creo que nos falta una o dos actividades. Si tienen dudas de alguna actividad, pregúntenme para apoyarles. No sé si hasta el momento les ha dado dificultad alguna actividad en particular o es que no la, no, no la han realizado. Chicos, díganme. Teacher, yo debo una actividad, pero es porque ayer no pude estar en la clase. Una. Entonces, mañana voy a ver toda la clase y luego voy a hacer la actividad. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Perfecto. De acuerdo, chicos. Entonces yo voy a estar pendiente de eso. Consulten cualquier duda que tengan. Bien, nos despedimos eh, hasta acá voy, entonces. Eh, ¿Cuál es su nombre? Eh, Carmen López. Ah, Carmen. Es que como ahorita estaba viendo la, la otra pantalla. Eh, vamos con 80%. Solo le falta, creería yo, la actividad de hoy. Sí, ok. Uh -huh. 
Ok, perfecto chicos. Y nos vemos entonces el día de mañana. Cualquier cosa, estamos a la orden. Ok, so have a good night. Okay, thank you. you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hola, Cristian. ¿Tienes preguntas, Cristian? Dime. Ah, activa el micrófono. Ah, okay.